leaving. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We've just packed up and left Fry's Hut in the Victorian High Country. So if you haven't seen the previous episode, jump on over and have a look at that. Now, the plan is today, we're gonna to be heading up around the Bluff Hut area. Uh, we're gonna try and do Bindari Falls, Bindari Hut. Um, we'll just see when we get there, what time it is and what's going on. Uh, we'd like to camp at Lovick's Hut, but today's Saturday, so we'll see how crowded it is. If not, we'll get a camp around there somewhere. So the weather's looking good. Um, we've had some, been blessed with the weather so far. It's been um, nice, warm, sunny days, cool nights. Um, it's getting, been getting below 10 every night, which is um, good for us. <laughs> nice sleeping weather. And we're able to swim during the day, so that's good. So yeah, stick around for this one, should be good. Yeah, well, we've just pulled in here to Sheep Yard Flat and I thought I recognised the car over here. And look who we got here. We've got a few few known faces. Hey, Ed. guys. Yay. Yeah. And hey make guys. the matches. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> With the uh, patrol and the van here. Yep. 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 Yeah. Nice quiet weekend in Sheep Yard. There's no one around. No. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, quiet, yeah. Man. No motorbikes. <laughs> so if you're not following them, I'll put some links in the description. Get onto their socials and have a look. They're always out here doing the same sort of stuff we are. So, yeah, jump on and have a look. Cheers, awesome. guys. Thanks, yeah. Chad. Just a few minutes up the road from Sheepyard Flat, past a few other campsites, there's Tunnel Bend. We're going to duck down here and have a look. This goes into a corner, yeah. and then I got to the corner and I can see light out the other end, but you have to crouch, oh, okay. I think, and I, um, yeah, for what? And there's water all the way? No. Oh. Just this little bit around the corner of it. Just come up Rocks Road up to the intersection of the Bluff Link Track. So we're turning onto the Bluff Link Track now. Just stopped here, put some chicken tenders in the travel buddy for lunch. We'll probably pull up in half an hour or so and have some lunch. But um, another cracking day. Heading down the 16 mile Jeep track with the camper on. I don't know what this is going to be like, but we're about to find out. Straight into low range. It's pretty steep down.
Pike's hut on the 16 mile Jeep hut. Doesn't look like much because it's not much. Oh yeah. Someone's left a shelter here and a table. We're gonna have a bit of lunch now and then continue on to Bindari hut. Hot. Looks like KFC, but it's actually, um, what are they, Tash? Actually, these things, Toddy put us onto them. Pretty good. Louisiana style chicken tenders. One hour in the travel buddy and we're off. Thank you. Just finished the 16 mile Jeep track and we are here at Bindaree Hut, just behind me. 16 mile Jeep track was not too bad. We've done it from the top down, so we come down everything, but the other way it would be fine. So Bindaree Hut's just here on the Hakwa River. Uh, same river we camped on last night, but this is fur way further upstream. So yeah, let's have a look inside. Sun is off, got a duck for this one. I remember that. And we're in the little hut thing. Oh, and it's dark. I suppose if you need a shelter, it'll be all right. It's just got the, uh, the old school metal chimney corrugated iron chimney there that they do on some huts. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Anyhow, we're gonna keep heading and head to Bindari Falls. Just here at the Bindari Falls walk, it's about 400 metres, 20 minutes return. We're going to go and have a quick look and then head back and start heading up the bluff track. So let's go for a bit of a walk. turned onto the bluff track so um, heading up to bluff hut now I don't know if we'll make Lovex today we'll see We've sort of both had enough of driving now so um, we'll get to bluff hut and see what it's like there Bit dark. 
all set up here at Lovick's hut. Now it's pretty full here tonight. We've got a horse group, an organised horse tour thing. They've consumed that whole main campground. We're able to get a spot just off the side here. So um, we'll sneak over and see if we can have a look at the hunt. Um, a lot of these groups just consume the whole area. So got this little spot here. I didn't feel like driving any further. Plus we wanted to look at the hut. I just wanted to camp here really. It's a such a nice spot. Um, yeah, we'll see how much sleep we get. They've already had music and stuff going, so we'll see. Tash is just setting up, just got the fire on as you can see, and cook a bit of dinner and kick back. It's been a big day. Honey, soy, chicken, stir fry. Here at Lovick's hut. As the sun goes down. Good spot, Tash? Yeah, a bit cold. It's going to be cold tonight, eh? You can feel yeah. it already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got some elevation here. I don't know what it, exactly what it is. It's around 1400. Look at the sky. Start to turn it on. There we go. Love it, hut. This is probably the nicest hut, eh? Yeah. With the floor, look at the floor. Got the chairs. Just packed up this morning at Lovick's hut there, and we're just on the track now, heading out towards Howard Hut. But then we're gonna turn off and go down the Caledonia River track probably going to try and find a nice spot down there and just spend two two nights down there have a bit of a, a bit of a break um, hopefully we can find a nice swimming hole so yeah we'll see how that track goes pretty steep down in there of course How's the throttle? <laughs> Jerky. <laughs>
just here at Howitt Hut on the Howitt Plains Road. Just um, had a bit of lunch here and not far down the road we um, take the Caledonia River track. But let's have a quick look in here. Hopefully um, it's not too dark. But anyhow, you guys get the idea. It's not too bad. The old uh, metal chimney. I don't know why people have to put rubbish in fire pits. Come on. Yeah, good little hut. We'll lock it up and hit the road. but I don't know about your side. Tiny bit more. Made it down to the bottom to the Caledonia River now. Um, three, three pretty sharp switchbacks coming down there, and after one of the switchbacks, um, like I think two of them had to back up and sort of jacked off it a little bit to get around. But after one of them, real loose section, we sort of skated down in there a bit for a second, but um, that was that was okay. I just come down there. Um, on the straight bits, after I get around the around the switchbacks, I have my rear locker on. That helps a lot with um, keeping the vehicle stable and stuff in the loose stuff. So yeah, but otherwise, otherwise it's pretty good. Um, yeah, now we're just gonna drive along here, find a nice um, spot to camp for a couple of nights. Guys, we've just made it to camp and all set up, so we're just about to duck down to the creek and have a swim. Now we uh, made it all the way through the Caledonia River track, and we've just camped up on a little uh, side track now. So yeah, nice little uh, swimming hole down here. Wait till you see it. But we're thinking we might spend two nights here. We're not sure, um, but we'll probably go for a drive tomorrow anyhow. But yeah, we're just um, big day today doing that King Billy track. <laughs> it's not hard but it's just rough and slow. Your second gear low range, it's not challenging, but it's just annoying rough, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, it was, turned out to be a big day, so yeah, we're just quickly set up here. Let's go for a swim.
fire. Real simple one tonight guys, we're just doing some lamb chops. Thanks Timmy. And mashed potato and I've got a tin of cream corn on there as well. It's been a big day so. And we've been having dinner really late since we've been um, on this trip for some reason. It gets darker later down here. Quarter to eight in the sun, you can see the sun's still on the hill behind us. That was a nice little swim then. This morning we got up, um, after we had a lazy morning, we went for a drive up the, the Dingo Hill track. Uh, we decided we're not gonna go out that way with the camper. And we just ducked across um, the Butcher Link track to McAllister River. We'll probably end up going that way. Um, we'll spend another night here though. And then tomorrow morning we'll pack up and just head over there. Even if we only make it over to the McAllister River um, and have another night there and then head into La Cola from there. So, Heading out that way on that Butcher Link track, there's one sort of, um, there's a couple of really steep hills, of course, that's everywhere down here, but um, it's one sort of sketchy bit, but I don't know, there's a few trees around, we should be right, I think. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go, but we're just having a relaxing Arvo, the Savo, probably have a few swims and a few beers. Just had ourselves a swim. Now we're gonna, we're lighting a fire, we'll cook some steaks. Watch a few stars tonight. Doesn't get any better than that. This is a pretty good campsite. All right, tonight we're just having some steaks and salad. Got some healthy looking T-bones here. Just gonna cook these up. A bit of salad. That'll do us. It'll be an early one tonight, I think. T-bone steak and a bit of a salad. Looks good, you can get tuck in.
packed up camp here this morning in this beautiful spot. Now today we're heading um, over the, I think it's the Butcher Country Track, back over to the McAllister River, and we're going to go out the um, the other track towards La Cola. I can't think of the name of it. Um, so we'll head, we'll head that way. Now coming this way, we got just um, one steep hill to get up and over into the McAllister, and then another steep hill to get out the other side. But um, so just the goal is for the moment is just to get to the McAllister River and then we'll see how we go like I don't know if we had enough by then we might um we might have a camp there but if not we'll just get the next bit done and maybe camp just before the cola or after the cola it just depends on the time really so yeah but we'll stop at the bottom of the big hill and we'll get everything ready for um just in case we do need to winch or whatever but I think we should be fine. Car's moving. What? what? The car's moving. from the tree.
17 baby, come on. Poor car. <laughs> oh wow, I can't believe that. I'm never taking a camper trailer in there again. <laughs> no. We got up the part we thought we wouldn't get up and the other bits were harder. We had to winch up that one bit. I, it's just messed up. We didn't get much footage. I'm really sorry. It's just, it's too steep to even stop. Um, oh, that's crazy. I flogged this car. Do not buy this car if I put it on car sales. Um, yeah, the poor camper trailer. Oh my god, he was just bouncing around. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, just following the oh. car like it's supposed to. We just found this, there's still more to go. We just found this bit of a flat spot to have a break. Um, I'll sort the winch out. We've overspilled the cable and it's not coming out right. We'll do that. We'll get all that sorted in case we need that again later today. And um, we'll have a drink of water and stuff. Woo. Touch back in soon. So the car is, I think the front's a 17, the back's, the back's a 19. So I think that helped a bit. But the poor old tyres are copped the flogging on this one. So 
So we made it over onto the McAllister. We just pulled up here for a bit of lunch and it's one o'clock. We're gonna head down in there and have a swim, have a look at that. And yeah, it's not actually a bad spot here. It's one o'clock. By the time we have a swim and a, and a, and a feed, we'll see what, see what we feel like doing. The car really copped the flog when getting up that hill. Look at the, the tires, they're just chopped. <laughs> They were pretty down in here. I netted you once when we get home, so I'm getting the most out of them. We haven't seen us yet. Come down to this corner. Yeah. We're gonna have a swim with that um, red belly black snake. I'm sure we can um, cohabit the same water hole as long as he stays over there and we stay over here. We'll see. If you hear screaming, you know why. This is the junction of the Caledonia River and the McAllister River. We just had a, stopped here and had a really nice swim. Um, we were across there. We, we were thinking of camping here, but we're thinking a storm's gonna roll in and we don't wanna be stuck on this side of that crossing because that's the two rivers meet. So who knows how much water they might, I'd just rather not be stuck on this side. So we're gonna head up the track and get the rest of the track done and probably camp somewhere along the way and head into La Cola in the morning. Um, but yeah, this would be a nice spot to, to camp. That water hole's so nice and deep, you can swim properly in there, it's unreal. Yeah, but um, the wind's picked up, we're gonna head off.
We made it to Parkley River Campground. Barkley. Barkley, sorry. And now we're just sitting in the car waiting for the storm to pass. What a day, Shad. I'm glad we got to here. I'm glad we're not down in that river. We had to come out that last track. Anyway, nice bit of rain. Yeah. Now we have a bit of hail. Well, we just set up here at this Barkley River camp. Um, it's north of La Cola. We're back on a normal sort of gravel road now, which is good um, considering the, the weather. We just had that storm move through. It's a bit more thunder. I think it's another one maybe coming, but it belted down here. We sat in the car for a good half an hour. Um, Tash took some footage of that. You would have seen that, but um, there was water everywhere. So we're just gonna spend one night here. I'll just give you a tip for lighting fire like we didn't bring any wood with us today like dry so when we got here there was a bit of kicking around but it was all wet so I just got the um I just got some handful of heat beads going I'm going to get the heat beads going that already gives you a better coals and you can put some wet timber on there and away your fire goes hopefully <laughs> we'll see we're about to find out but um we're gonna have a cup of coffee now and just chill out it's actually turned into a nice arvo after that storm's rolled over Just wanted to say too that that um, fiery red winch from Vic Off Road that that um, that was up to the task today. I wasn't wasn't sure if it would be to be honest, but um, I should have really done a double line pull with the um, with the camper on and how steep it was. But I just needed to get it hooked up and going because the car was like starting to slip backwards. Natasha was saying, so we just hooked it up and I just helped um with the car like which was a bit of wheel spin but anyhow probably not the right way to do it but we got up there yeah so when i got stuck there on that one spot today um the i noticed my after we done the switchbacks then i went to put the rear locker in because i knew the steep hill was coming up the rear locker wouldn't engage and i was concentrating on that and i got a little bit offline and into the loose stuff it was all loose anyhow but i just i got offline uh, my mistake anyhow and um, didn't have enough momentum going and, and then that was it that's why we had to winch up that little bit but anyhow that's why we have all the all the gadgets on our cars I suppose Get us. What's happening, Tash? I have to cook dinner tonight because it's raining. Oh, the stuff in the camper, that's what's good about the Ulti, eh? Yeah. What are you going to make us? What are you going to whip us up in Natasha's kitchen? Just continental fried rice with and then bacon you, and you're gonna add some bacon. Oh, you're nice. I just gotta put this all spent together. Did it fall apart? Yeah. Is that from my shocking driving today? No, it was already apart. Oh. I just didn't see the point in putting it together. Okay, 
dinner has finished being cooked. Might not look like much, but it tastes good. And on a big day we have today, quick easy meal. Hey guys, we're gonna wrap this episode up here at Barkley River Camp, just north of La Cola. It's been a great few days up in the Caledonia River area. And before that, even over at Lovick's Hut in that area up around the bluff. That was awesome as well. So yeah, big thanks for watching and stick around for the next episode and see what we get up to next in the high country. Cheers. What's the name of this joint? Sheep uh, yard. Sheep yard. Sheep yard. Yeah. We can just like pop out the. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad. Pretty good. I'm just trying not to fall over now. We'll grab the big camera. Let's go. Hey guys, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Crooked. I'm gonna level on this. The things I do for you guys, but the water is nice.